Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a blocking out. I'm not putting much detail to a carving to where you can still uh, come up with something unique and different, but with not a whole lot of detail. And so we're going to be uh, giving a bolus nose, very simple uh, facial features, no eyes, no ears, and uh, no hands sticking out of the pocket. Something uh, fairly decently and you could do it in 30 minute time or less. All right, so since we're going to be doing this, a bolus nose here, I'll put it up in the camera where you can see. I've already got him laid out to where his arms are gonna be and so on and so forth. So again, we're just trying to keep everything very simple today. And uh, so we're just gonna start blocking things out here with our V tool. Again, I always start around the hat and head area and working my way around. Coming up and setting that nose back underneath the hat. And also, too, while we're at it, well, we're taking the roughness off the bottom edge of the hat as we go. Okay, let's get the shoulders. Let's get the back of the head. Separate the shoes a little bit there. Downsize to a little bit smaller V tool there to get in here quicker. Now line the top of the shoes coming down to the back side of his pants. Again, we're just outlining things, we're just going right over what we did with the pencil. Coming down here, and we're not going to separate the legs, we're going to try to keep everything pretty simple to where you can get him done in a decent time. All right, here's the arms, the inside of the first arm. His hands are in his pocket. So again, no hands visible. And it's just good to do something simple like this without a whole lot of detail, but yet you know what it is when it's done. All right, coming in to make the crook of the arm right there. I'm gonna come back here. Be careful where that knife blade is going because your hand is on the other side. Relieve that back there along the arm, along the shoulder. Now let's bring our knife up to the back of the head here. Show some separation. All right, now I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to come in here on this side and create the bolus nose. And we're just going to take our knife, come right around the bottom, and join those two cuts that we put on each side. Okay, now be careful here as you are approaching the edge of your hat. Now if it does break off, well, there's a, hopefully there's enough meat there, but hopefully you won't. Now we're going to Separate the nose a little bit, make it stand out away from its face. Now I'm going to take a stop cut. I'm going to put a stop cut on top of that nose right there. I'm going to do that again. And now I'm going to take, oh, like a number three here. I'm going to turn it on its backside and start pushing back to put that nose more underneath the hat brim. Or whatever tool will fit up in there for you, that's what you can use. You don't have to have the exact same thing I do. Rounding that potato nose. Okay, we're going to just split the legs just a little bit to show some action there. Not a whole lot. 
And that's about all we're going to do. And using that blade, watch where the tip of that blade's going. I'm going to come in, put the Y in the front and the T in the back. And you're putting on your, carving your pants on a fella. Okay, we're going to remove the excess wood here off the side of the head. Working our way around to the back of the head. Okay, we're splitting the legs back here. Putting our T. Coming in. Again, showing some separation. Now you can do this with a V tool if you wanted to, but I like to show just a little bit more shadow in there than just with a V tool. Like that there, I like the shadow of that. All right, let's take our V tool. Let's go up here. Set in the arm. Taking our knife and doing the inside of the crook of the arm. Again, mostly we've just done this with a knife and a V tool. So if you have those two, you can do quite a bit. All right, we're going to come in here now, dress this wood down for the legs. This is a rough out that I have to use for uh, my hillbilly chess sets and also He's on the website, if you're interested in him. His name's Rufus. No, Clumsy. Clumsy. I have so many rough outs, I forget their names sometimes. But anyway, it's Clumsy. And taking our V-tool here. Okay, now let's set our top of our shoes down just a little bit. Now you can make them big, big shoes in here, exaggerating the features. That's all we're doing. All right, now we're going to take our V tool here and bring in the shoes a little bit. They're sticking a little way out too far for the size of this carving. Now again, we can, you know, we're exaggerating things, but we don't want them to be too exaggeration out there because it won't look right. And following our shoe around the back here. Okay. down the arm. Going to get ready to put his hands in his pocket here in just a few minutes. Take our number three here and round off the shoe a little bit. Sometimes it's easier just to use the back of a tool to do the job instead of a knife. But every tool has its purpose. Okay, let's stop and look at him for a little bit here in the camera. You can see we just got him pretty much blocked out. And uh, he's still holding his own here, all right? Let's take our V-tool, come in, let's put in the pocket area. Look like his hand's in the pocket. Go to the other side, do the same thing here. Okay, let's put a little crook in the arm here to show just a little action. Same thing over here. 
Now again, we're not going to put much detail on him, so we're just basically a just a kind of a flat plane type carving today. All right, now let's focus on the hat a little bit here. The old stove top hat, stove pipe hat, they called them, where they could strain their moonshine through it. That's why they were long. Getting rid of all the bandsaw marks, rough out machine marks. Now we're going to take our number nine gouge here. Now we're going to end grain here, so it's going to be a little bit stiff and a little hard to push through. So I'm going to gravitate to this number nine, smaller sweep to get in here and move more wood. There we go. That's working better. Because the reason why is because the edges of my other tool are digging into the side of the hat here. So always watch that. So you may have to adjust your tool accordingly. If it's not doing what you want it to do, look at it and think about it. Why is it not working there? Now if you have a piece it's being difficult, especially like this. Uh, take some 70% alcohol in a little spray bottle and spray your project. Let it set for a few seconds. And then you'll see a difference. You know, don't, uh, don't dunk it in alcohol. And make sure you don't inhale that too much because it will doesn't smell good. But anyway, it helps, opens up the pores of the wood the alcohol absorbs and it just and the water keeps it from running off. That's what that does. And I've used it on pieces. And so and I know it takes time to go around the hat here because you're doing ingrain work and and that's what takes a little time. But your hat can really make a difference too in your carving. Whether it's a Santa hat or an elf hat or a Hillbilly hat or whatever, or a bolo, bolo hat. Okay, let's put a few little divots here and there. Just a couple of turns and twists. Alrighty, and it kind of helps breaks things up. Let's come up here. Yeah, I like that better. Get a little closer. Working our way down on the edges. <sighs> okay. So let's just take your V tool now. And let's put in his little bit of cuffs. He's got to have them. I guess he don't have to, but. Okay, very good. Let's um let's put some um let's put some soles at the bottom of his shoe. Right. At least attempt to. Again, we're not doing a whole lot of detailing. Just enough to make him look like something out here. <clears throat> Hillbilly's shoes are supposed to be rough and gnarly. And so. Okay, now let's work on the facial area here. Again now, no eyes. But we are going to put a 
a little bit of a mustache here. Put a cut there. And come here to the side. Come up this way to the edge of the nose, or to the bottom of this nose. Okay, so come in here. Let's make the other half of the mustache. Kind of offset it a little bit. Make it a little squirrely looking. Because our hair is... Now when your knife goes through this like that there, all right, so you just chop it off. Start over. Okay. Okay, there. See there? As long as you leave enough meat there. Be an ornery right in there. So when people say you can't change a rough out up, um, I just dis disagree with him totally because this is a little rough out. A guy I use a lot in my chess sets, hillbilly chess sets, and um, they're just a lot of fun to carve. And just a simple little hillbilly. And kind of have a mouth. And again, we want to round. I don't care how simple a carving you're doing. You need to make sure that it is uh, going to hold. And sometimes simple is the better. Simplest is the better. Is better. But again, it's good to just to disconnect a little bit from your bigger projects and just turn around and do a smaller project. Something like this here that doesn't take a whole lot of time and unless you want to, but just something to kind of relax you at the end of the day. If you had a tough day at the house, or a tough day at the job, a farm, whatever. I find that whatever is bothering me. When I come to carve, it's on the floor. Next thing I know. Okay. And then now, we're just going to sporadically come in and put in hair. But because we're going to paint this guy down the road, I'm sure. And we've got to make sure these places like this are good and clean. No fibers like that there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my V tool here and just come in and just put a few here and there. Now again, we're not putting a whole lot of detail on. And I just want something that we can just get it done within a little amount of time. So you don't have to hit every spot every part of the carving. Same thing here. And we're just going to come in and every so often, remember to twist and turn. Don't make everything straight if you possibly can help it. And make sure that you come and hit the edges really good.
I'm liking this guy. And I know I've said just go all the way down if you can to touch. And finish out your hair. Whether it's on your mustache or whether it's on the beard. I'm going back in here now, taking the stop, taking the knife, putting the stop cuts in to remove the hair. All right, let's stop and look at him for a second. Let's take our brush to him. Now we got to put on his his uh, overhauls here. Come across. Come here. Take your V tool and outline what you did with your pencil there. Turn your V-tool on its side, that way you can tuck that shirt in. And take your knife here, remove all the little pieces you carved up there. Finish him out. Run that right up through there. There you go. Connect all that good stuff. Come across to here. <sighs> Make the, the strap here to come down here neat. Well, all right. I think we just got a few little hairs here to put in the just the bottom of the chin there. Like I said, just a chinny chin chin. And we'll take our brush here and look at him here. Boy, isn't he a character if I ever saw one. And we can do the base later on. And everything connects. And all the hair's on and the hat's on. So... Anyway, so thank you for joining us today and hope you'll take this little challenge of keeping it simple. And it's a lot of fun. Thank you for joining us today and happy carving.